A Dunedin man has been awarded the title of Amateur Landscape Photographer of the Year. The award was part of New Zealand's largest annual competition for amateur photographers. Winner Michael Sutton joins us to talk about his accolade. Good evening and congratulations. Hi. Thank you. How long have you been interested in photography? Um, about six or seven years now. Um, I got into it when I was living in Melbourne um, over there and bought a, my first DSLR camera and really got into it then. How much time do you spend taking photographs? Um, unfortunately not as much as I'd like at the moment because I'm pretty busy but I just get out and about whenever I can. Yeah. What makes Dunedin a great place to photograph? Um, Dunedin's great in the way that, you know, 20-30 minutes you can be out in the road and, mm. and in an isolated area like Sandy Mount or over in um, uh, Perakanui or Aramoana and um, you're just yeah, in a nice isolated area and you can just take in the scenery and take your time taking photos and it's just really good um, to have that access to outside of Dunedin area. So. Is scenery landscapes your preference or do you like taking photos of other things? Yeah, that's my preference, yeah. Mm. Um, I do the odd portrait. Um, uh, it's a bit of a hobby or side interest, but um, yeah, landscape photography is my mm. big interest, yeah. Is amateur photography competitive? Um, I would say so. Um, I haven't entered a lot of competitions, but um, this particular competition saw a lot of entries, so I was pretty pretty stoked to be able to get my um, my photo into, um, into that um, that category and mm. I would say yeah, very competitive in general. Yeah. Tell us about your regular job. Um, I'm a registered nurse at the hospital here, I've been a nurse for about six years mm. and um, so it's something I really enjoy, the shift work's very varied and I see, um, meet a lot of um, and, um, different people and really and, um, really enjoy working with people and helping them get better mm. and they're unwell. Is this yeah. the first time that you've entered this particular competition? Yeah it is, yep. yep. Tell, tell us about your winning photograph. Um, that photo was taken in St Clair um, from the Esplanade and I was actually heading out towards I think the Tyree to um, over that way and there's, there was a big storm front coming in and um, I got a glimpse of the, the sky and it was really grey and nasty looking and um, I decided to go over to the beach and see how it looked and um, the wind started picking up and this amazing storm cloud came over and um, the surf was really rough and I just pulled over and got the camera out and I started um, taking photos and ended up with this photo that just came out yeah, just perfect for the, for the day and for the conditions. So. What distinguishes a photograph between something that's average and something that's good? Um, I think a good photograph is um, it's well balanced it, um, in terms of the foreground and background um, and it has to have at least one really good um, strong point of interest in, in general. My, a lot of my photos um, and a lot of other photos incorporate two strong points of interest as, and, tie, and tie those in together as well as including the foreground and the background. Mm. Is it hard to capture that crucial moment? It can be, yeah. Even, even a lot of planning um, sometimes doesn't result in a good photograph for whatever reason. The light might not be very good or just not quite right at that time so you might revisit that scene but sometimes it's yeah, quite opportunistic and that was the case in this, mm. this instant. Yeah. Any desire to become a professional photographer? Um, not at this point. I like being um, able to do it as a hobby and not have to have time pressures and um, financial pressures in order to sort of survive day to day um, by the, through photography. So, yeah. Amateur Landscape Photographer of the Year, Michael Sutton, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you, thanks for having me.